It's Vegan Recipes with Pat and Emily. This week on It's Vegan, we decided to start a three-part series on rice. So this week we will be comparing the flavor, texture, and aroma of a variety of rices. You can see how many are here, and this is just a small sampling of the various rices We got 13 out there. rices. We actually love rice, yes. so we tasted some and tried some that we haven't tried before. The next video that we will be doing is how we cook rice, the technique that we use, and the last video will be a batch recipe. We will make a big batch of rice and show you a couple quick things that you can do with it. So if you cook it once a week and you're really a rice lover, we'll show you how you can change that each day. As we <laughs> review the various rices, I've made a chart and then we will end up posting that for you to be able to read it where we are comparing the flavor, aroma, and texture of these. I wanted to start with par rice. I'm sorry, I have notes in front of me, but something that I learned about parboiled rice, often called converted rice, Probably the most popular brand is Uncle Ben's, and that is one of my favorite brands of rice. It seems to be a higher quality. But something that I learned about parboiled rice is that it is really not just plain old white rice, and it's not pre-cooked. You know, everybody thinks that it's been pre-cooked. Parboiling kind of means pre-cooked. Yeah, it sounds like it, but it is boiled and steamed in the actual husk. And what that does is that drives the nutrients, especially the B vitamins, into the grain itself. It increases the nutritional value. It makes that parboiled rice almost similar or equal to ground rice. I want to show the color difference. This one is parboiled compared to just plain white rice. And some websites will say that that parboiled rice is actually brown rice. I don't really know about that, but that may or may not be the case. The parboiled rice has double the fiber that you would find in just plain cooked rice, which you were comparing it to. And it has a low glycemic score of 38 compared to an 89 of white rice. So according to Harvard Health Publications, this should not give you a spike in your blood sugar if you do the parboiled. If you're doing the parboiled. Oh, well, so, okay, so. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. And the parboiled comes in medium and long grain. And the technique that we cook it in, it really keeps it from um, getting starchy. As you can see, it's pretty flaky. It's not stuck together. Yes, it's not clumpy at all. To me, it's, it's really my favorite all around rice. It's got a full flavor. Mm -hmm. It's not starchy. It doesn't stick together. Did you salt that at all? Just slightly. Slight bit of salt. It's very good. Yeah, it's a mild flavor. It's, it's got a really close nice texture. To the white rice, I think. Can we go straight to the white rice? Sure. Just to yeah, let's try the white rice. And the white rice, again, the way that we cook it, it keeps the grains separated. I think this just, the parboiled has more flavor. I think that does have a little more flavor. I was also going to say that. Parboiled, I would use that as a side dish. Yes. <clears throat> the white rice. I would probably want you, to put a stir fryer. You could use as a side dish also, but probably more as an ingredient. Mm -hmm. uh, where you would add more flavors to it. Go to the Aborio. I am not familiar with this one. Uh, we've never tasted it. It before. looks very nice. It it's, looks it's a pearl short grain. Like, yeah. yeah. Pearl like short grain. Now when we cooked that particular one, it was very starchy. It kept wanting to boil over. And if you'll see, it's a little bit clumpy. A little stickier. I think it's bland. What do you think? I think it's maybe a little earthier, mm -hmm. maybe, I don't know. And if you were making a rice ball, uh, it would probably stick together. So to that would be ball. like one that would be good to use in a patty of some kind, probably as like right. a binding agent yes. a little bit. Yes. Okay, let's try this jasmine and take a look at it. It's a little longer grain. It's not like as long as basmati. 
you know, and it it also was one of the starchier rices when it was cooking. It has a very nice flavor, I think. It does have a very nice nice flavor. Would you say, mm, like a little nutty? Maybe slightly nutty. And I do think you could fluff it up if, if you had to. Oh, easily. Yeah, so that has a really nice flavor. The next rice that we're going to is sushi rice. And this is a very short grain rice and it's very, very starchy. This you would definitely, like you can see, it's only been sitting a few minutes and it's really you sticking together. You like almost together. can't even keep that rice apart. Mm -mm. But it's great for sushi. It's delicious Or if though. you're trying to do like some rice balls. It's a delicious rice. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. You it's, know, I don't know if I've ever eaten it plain because usually when you're doing sushi, you would put like um, rice vinegar and stuff on there. Mm -hmm. but it has more of a flavor than I was expecting, just plain. Yeah, I like the flavor. Um, if I was making something like a rice pudding where I'm not going to be adding any egg or egg substitute. Oh, that would be great for rice this, pudding. This rice, the jasmine rice, any of the rices that are a little bit starchy, if you're making something like a rice pudding, I think that would also work really well mm -hmm. with that. Then we have basmati. This is probably the longest grain rice I think we have here. Um, this is very popular in Indian food. It's probably the least starchy of the white ones, in my opinion. I don't know. How do you feel about it? I agree with you on there, and I don't know if we can show how long those grains, those grains are, but they are really, mm -hmm. they don't look like other rice. It has more of a texture like a brown rice, I think. Mm -hmm. It but does. It has a little um, chew to it. Yeah, but it's still white. That's good. We did the parboil, so let's get to the whole grain brown rice. Now, this is Uncle Ben's brand. And again, I think Uncle Ben's brand of whole grain brown rice uh, will remain fluffier. It will uh, keep from sticking together. I just find that true of that brand. I rice. like the brown rices and that they have more of a texture. And now the instant? Yeah. I definitely thought this would stick together more being instant rice and get kind of overcooked. Maybe I just overcooked my instant rice. Maybe. However, they might have improved. The <laughs> manufacturers may have improved making it. And the instant rice... It's really similar to the whole grain. I thought it would be... I don't know what I thought it would be. Well, this is instant brown. Instant right. white would be might different. be different. Uh, but you know what I do sometimes when I'm really short on time hmm. in the morning? Each week I cook up a bunch of vegetables that I put in my lunch. And if I'm running late and I didn't have any rice cooked, what I end up doing is I'll put some of the dry instant rice in the bottom of my bowl, throw in some tomato juice or whatever I want, put my vegetables on top, and then by the time I'm ready to eat that for lunch and microwave it, the rice is just perfectly. Oh, ready. it just it, absorbs all the liquid it, and then you're ready yeah. for it. Oh, yeah. nice. And it is surprising. I used to think that brown rice tasted awful, but really this instant brown rice is really tasty. And now we have some golden rose brown rice. It's kind of an exotic rice. It is a fancier rice. It's the little pearl-like shaped. Short grain. Short grain. You know, kept separated very nicely. Mm -hmm. I use this semi-often in my rice cooker and I mm, will what a pretty good much flavor. use it for anything. It's kind of nutty. Mm -hmm. It's a mm. good flavor. Now we have some volcano rice. I would say it's like a medium length grain. I have never tried this one before. I haven't either. And again, we only would find this at the East End Co-op. This is the only time I've ever seen this thing. Right. It's not at every store. It's multicolor. Mmm. It has like mm. a very like refreshing, kind of clean taste. 
paste, maybe? Mm. I don't know. Mm. No, I think I would like that in some kind of cold salad. What do you think? That would be great in a cold salad. Or maybe like a bowl of some kind. Yeah, of that one tastes cold. I mean, good cold. These rices have cooled since we first Some of them have. Them. Some of them haven't. <laughs> right. <laughs> But that, I think, would taste great with um, mm -hmm. maybe some balsamic over some Just lettuce. Just almost, yeah, like nothing on it, really. Mm -hmm. That's nice. So then red rice. This is like a medium grain. And these rices along here, they took about 40 minutes to cook. Yes, these were definitely... Most, most of the rest of these, except for the whole grain brown, cooked in about 20 to 25 minutes. Even the Bosmani only took about 10 minutes, even though the package said about 20. It cooked pretty quick. Mm. So back to the red rice. <laughs> that rice is very, like, full mm. of, like, liquid. Not like, it's not watery, but, like, each grain is, like, full somehow. That is, that's true. That's a good description. <laughs> it's a great rice. And then we have a black rice. I've had black rice noodles, but I've never just had black rice, just plain. And the black rice is a short grain. It can be used anytime you would use white or brown rice. As soon as the water hit it, it just had a release of flavor and, and aroma. That is like not starchy at mm -hmm. all. There is no stickiness mm -mm. to that at all. What do um, you use that with? I don't, I feel like I would use that for sure. something where I more want it to be like aesthetically like <gasps> what is that? Oh, like more yeah. of like an eye thing than necessarily a taste thing. Although it does have a great taste. It, it tastes does. a little bit different. I'm gonna try it again. It's hard to identify. It's like a deeper flavor. Mm -hmm. You know um some people think rice is just rice. True. You know, I used to think that, oh, you know, they all taste the same. But then as I started trying other rices, I found they really have a different flavor. And I think everybody's going to find a go-to rice that they'll use regularly, but then they might be doing something special and they'll want this black rice. Or they really find that this volcanic rice will just fit in perfectly. Um, even the name of that rice, volcanic rice, uh, maybe you can make a volcanic meal, kind of have some fun, a little bit of fun with it. Um, we still have one more rice to taste. All right. And this is a ready rice. It comes packaged like this. It's made to go in the microwave. It comes in a couple of varieties. Most of them are completely vegan. Some of them are seasoned, so you can, you know, look for a flavor you like. I know there's one that has corn and beans in it, and that one's also vegan. This particular one is the long grain. It is brown rice with wild rice in it. You just stick it in the microwave for 90 seconds. You have to open the package just a little bit so it's vented. Let's give it a try. Sure. Compared to that black rice, I think they're all like sticky now, which is crazy. That is not like a sticky rice. But it's a tiny bit, a tiny, tiny bit sticky, but not, not, not too bad. Nothing like the uh, sushi rice. Oh, definitely not. And I do feel like wild rices have like a, um, like that earthy, almost mushroomy taste to them mm -hmm. sometimes. Also, depending on if I'm cooking a certain ethnicity of foods, sometimes I choose my rice according to that. True. Well, that's about it for this week. We will put up our comparison chart at the end of the video for you to review. And then join us again when we talk about how we cook rice. And then the third video in the series, we will be doing things to do if you made a big pot of rice. Thanks for stopping in. Stick around if you want to watch the bloopers. Coming around. Wait, start again when I'm here. <laughs> I just got too sticky. Golden rose again. Anytime you would use white or brown.